So originally we weren't going to do this video quite yet, but we got a large number of requests. So yeah, here's Coach Kleehammer. Hell, two-man huddle. Let's go. Okay. Hey folks, welcome to Squirrel Tactics. If you like what we're doing and you like this video, why don't you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as some of you know, we have started our own Patreon, so you can support us over there if you'd like to, or not, you know, it's whatever. Coach Kleehammer, first name unknown, possibly Coach. Fun fact, he's voiced by Toby Huss, who some of you may remember as... Archie, the strongest man in the world. Yep, he also did the voices for Con and Cotton. As his name would suggest, he's a coach at Tom Landry Middle School, though just what he coaches tends to change from episode to episode. In Bobby Slam, he coaches wrestling. That's called a center step single leg attack. Now what are you gonna do, huh? Now what, big man? You gonna dump me, huh? You gonna pin me? This'll teach you to pull a knife on me! Hard to stop a guy when you're hopping around all day, huh, Hoppy? What? All right, good job. And ends up pitting Bobby against Connie for a spot on the wrestling team, while also showing that he has some, well, let's say, outdated views. Does she speak the English language? Well, of course she speaks English. Well, then tell her wrestling's a boy sport, and that's final. He continued this in Take Me Out of the Ball Game. Now I know what stinks so bad. Strickland's pitching. Oh, what can he do? The league requires a woman pitcher. Unlike I tell my gym class, girls can't play sports. At least I found one that can get it over the plate, if you know what I mean. I'm having sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's no good at sports, right? Fatherton. Yeah, don't worry, we're planning to cover old MF Fatherton. The MF stands for my friend. The next time we see him is in the Powder Puff Boys. He looks a little bit different, has definitely aged, and he's now the head football coach. I've got a losing football program, and the only thing that's going to save my bacon is a good Powder Puff game. Yeah, but isn't Powder Puff about girls playing football? Nobody watches the girls. It's all about you boys and your Tom Fooligans. Mess this up and I'll be back teaching math to the slowpokes. Which is odd because in I Never Promised You an Organic Garden and The Sun Also Roses, Tom Landry's head coach looks a little bit different than Kleehammer. Anywho, he meets with Bobby because he has a losing football team and is counting on a funny powder puff football game to save him. Bobby, being the school's resident comedian, was the obvious choice to teach the guys how to be funny as they were performing as cheerleaders because Kleehammer was not big on the funny. You're in over your head, Kleehammer. And of course he had to drop this little nugget. What's really offensive is watching those girls play football. Uh, you're really not helping, coach. In Grand Theft Arlen, he's the gym teacher who is surprised when Bobby shows up to gym for the presidential fitness test, rather than take the video game course. Hey, oh, what are you doing here? I thought all the doughy kids were gonna take the easy way out. No offense, Hank. Well, you call him like you see him, coach. In No Bobby Left Behind, we see why it's best that he not return to the classroom. Okay, Dooley, I've got a five pound medicine ball in this head and a 10 pound medicine ball in this head. If you were to multiply the weightage of both balls together, what would you get? I pass. Oh, for, ah, hill. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Oh, what? I just did, you little knucklehead! As well as not having a whole lot of confidence in the student's ability to pass the state standardized test. We're never gonna pass this test. These dub dubs can't even do simple math. Kleehammer, you're not the only one under some stress here. We're all freaking out. He's part of Principal Moss's plan to put the bad test takers in special ed, and after the school did worse than the year before on those tests, and it causes Principal Moss to be suspended, Kleehammer became the temporary principal. Yeah, but I don't know how great of an interim principal Coach Kleehammer is going to be. Today, maggots. In Nancy Does Dallas, we see him back as a teacher slash coach, but here he teaches students self defense. Would you, uh, you knuckleheads are loaded for bear, and you don't even know it. The contents of an average knapsack contains at least 13 ways to disable a man. 
You see a pencil. I see a spear. A squirt of juice box can blind your assailant. Cool. Awesome. But the textbook can cause the most damage from the greatest distance, like a boomerang or the Cherokee throwing hammer. Now, let's see what you've got. Ooh, a nice shot. Ooh, ooh, well done. Well, oh, ooh, God. Keep it up. His final appearance was in Bois My Nose, where he acts as the coach for the reunited 1974 Arlen High team that lost in the state championship. They probably didn't bring back their original coach, Sour Coach Sowers, after what had happened back in Three Coaches and a Bobby when he had been brought in to coach Bobby's team, the Cougars. Damn it, I never did like you, Hill. You were a know-it-all and a do-gooder, and your teeny tiny weak little girly ankle bone snapped in the finals. And you lost me state! I lost you state. I'm the one who got you to state. I wish I never dragged you out of that shoe store. <laughs> Are we done yet? Why, you precious little candy ass. <gasps> I think you heard him. Hit him again to make sure. Clee Hammer ends up resetting Hank's broken nose with a rock. On the count of three. One. <gasps> no. It's an art, not a science, people. And later gives Hank somewhat of a pep talk. Grimble's got heart, but he's no replacement for you. Every coach dreams of finding that spaz kid who can play like Rudy or Radio. But nobody's gonna make a movie about Grimble. <laughs> There's mud in my lungs. So, all in all, Coach Kleehammer, even though he somehow aged significantly and adopted a new wardrobe, was basically just a caricature of what an old school coach was like. A lot of us probably had a coach at some point like Kleehammer. We just never got to throw books at him. All right, ladies, hit the showers. And no Oklahoma car washes, neither. Get your hair wet.